If you're someone who's logged on to Roblox at least once in the past month, which, you know, I assume all of you have, I guarantee that you saw this game pop up on your homepage. I remember the first time seeing this game amass such a huge amount of players, and I thought that this game was just a simple trend that's gonna go away soon. But then you keep opening Roblox, and this game keeps on persistently being above 100,000 players. And so after a whole month of this game hyping itself up by proving that it's successful, you finally decide to try out the amazing- And I found common and another one oh good okay that's okay that's pretty cool and then oh good again okay okay and then this game feels insanely underwhelming i remember the first time playing this game and realizing that that's it so you're telling me that the only thing i can do here is just be lucky with auras now the longer you play the game the more you realize that it actually does have certain gameplay elements besides that the main one being jake's workshop which is just a crafting menu welcome to my work i don't care bro open and at first glance this does seem like a change of pace i mean it has a cool crafting system and you're actually able to upgrade your luck and your cooldown until you begin to realize that all of this still boils down to unlocking auras to craft any of these you need to give it auras and the whole point of crafting these is that you you still keep on unlocking auras, albeit more efficiently. But the shop aside, this game left me with just a feeling of, what now? Do I just keep on unlocking auras? Is that the main gameplay element? And clearly I wasn't the only person thinking this way. I would see so many posts, comments, and YouTube videos of people criticizing this game for not even being a game in the first place. And it's because of this that I just couldn't understand why this game amassed the amount of players that it did, especially in the short amount of time that this game became popular. And so I decided to do a bit of research and dig deeper. And I now truly believe that this game deserves every bit of success that it has achieved. To start, we need to understand what makes a Roblox game so popular. And the answer boils down to two main factors, RNG and a sense of progression. And my proof of this is that games based on these two things have dominated Roblox for the longest time, in the form of tycoons, simulators, incrementals, and now RNGs. This is also why many games seem to have some RNG pet system, which is such a popular system that my advanced paid course, which you can preview for free in the description, is literally all about making just that system. Now, the main thing that has confused me and I think everyone else is that all of these games just seem to have so much more going for them than Saul's RNG, with them having more features, having more history, and just seemingly being a fuller game. But as I've said before, it's when you put all of these games together that you realize that the only common factors become RNG and progression. Saul's RNG is a genius game because it recognizes this, and instead of wasting time on adding extra pointless stuff, it prioritizes the gameplay to solely revolve around the RNG slash progression elements, which makes it not only insanely fun and addictive, addictive to many players, but also insanely easy to code. This game utilizes the fact that its auras are honestly cool as f**k. And because these auras are the first thing you see when you start playing the game for the first time, it fulfills one of the core aspects of good progression in a video game, which is that the player actually wants to progress. When you combine this with the fact that the main way to progress is through RNG, well now you've just created the perfect Roblox game. Saul's RNG is just a raw mix of everything that makes a Roblox game addictive and popular, and in that way, it is unique. And something I've mentioned before is that this game actually is insanely easy to code. And if you are a beginner developer, or even just someone thinking about developing, and you want to profit from the RNG formula before it just becomes insanely oversaturated, then I do have free and paid advanced lessons on Roblox Studio, which you can find in the description. While Saul Saul's RNG seems like it's an empty game, it seems so because it is fully focused on the gameplay aspect rather than the extra things. Unlike what Roblox themselves want games to be, it pushes to be 100% just a game and 0% an experience which is why I believe it deserves to be successful. I will also say that if you want to see more normal and non-brain rot content about Roblox and Roblox Studio, then you should subscribe to me right now because I'm literally the only person doing that. And as always, we're back to basics. Thank you for watching.